Elon Musk is the richest man in the US. Elon also overtook Bernard Arnold of France to become the richest man in the world. And Aliko Dangote is the richest man in Africa with a net worth of 13.5 billion. So what's the difference between these men? Well, the richest man in Africa is a Nigerian and he has built the largest oil refinery in Africa. When in full operation, the refinery is expected to process about 650,000 barrels per day of crude oil, making it the largest single train refinery in the world. Dangote Oil Refinery is situated in Lekki, Nigeria. It was inaugurated on the 22nd of May 2023. But it's not just about oil, it's a symbol of hope and potential. Allow me to take you on a captivating journey into the heart of the Dangote Refinery. Kindly hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to never miss out on our upcoming videos. So what's really happening to this refinery? Because as we speak, it hasn't fully commenced operation despite the promises that it will be in full swing this 2023, overcoming challenges and resilience. If you have been wondering why the Dangote oil refinery hasn't begun operations in Nigeria, here's the truth. The primary reason for the delay stems from crude supply issues. The refinery relies on a steady stream of crude oil, yet Nigeria's production has suffered due to oil theft, pipeline vandalism and underinvestment. By April of 2023, Nigeria's oil production has dipped to less than 1 million barrels per day, falling below Angola's output, which was 1.1 million barrels per day in the same month. The good news is that Nigeria produced 1.5 million barrels per day of crude oil in September of 2023. This is the highest level of production since the start of the year. So Dangote refinery might as well begin operation. Or what do you think? Funding the dream. Dangote raised a whopping $19 billion to fund this remarkable project, which is the estimated cost of the oil refinery, above initial estimates of $12 billion and $14 billion respectively, marking the largest single private investment in Africa's history. He did this by combining equity investment and debt financing, personally investing 50% of the project's estimated cost. This means Dangote himself invested around $9.5 billion into the project. The other half was secured through debt financing from both domestic Nigerian banks such as Access Bank, Guaranteed Trust Bank, Zenith Bank, United Bank for Africa, Fidelity Bank, and African Import Export Bank and foreign institutions. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, also partnered with the Dangote Group in ensuring the successful completion of this project by providing about 125 billion naira to cover domestic currency requirements for the venture while also ensuring the availability of foreign exchange to pay for the importation of some of the plants and equipment. Impressively, Dangote has already paid back around 70% of the loans, approximately $13.3 billion. The journey wasn't without the challenges, but it underscores the importance of unwavering commitment and resourcefulness in the face of economic uncertainties and market volatility, crafting the Greenfield Marvel. The Dangote oil plant sits on 2,635 hectares of land, now imagine a greenfield site, an empty canvas yearning for transformation. It's akin to starting a business from scratch, with challenges in logistics and infrastructure. They had to transport materials and equipment to a location with no pre-existing infrastructure, much like embarking on a heroic quest. Challenges were faced head-on and the dream began to take shape, building a skilled workforce. Yes, Dangote Oil Refinery had its fair share of recruitment and training challenges. One of the biggest hurdles was finding qualified employees for this complex operation. The refinery demanded a high level of expertise, requiring recruitment from all corners of the world including Nigeria, India, China and the United States. Training was another significant challenge, with heavy investments made to ensure employees were qualified to operate the refinery safely and efficiently. Additionally, Dangote had to address cultural challenges, creating a workplace culture that was inclusive for employees from diverse backgrounds. Despite these challenges, the company has been able to assemble a team of qualified individuals to operate the refinery smoothly. Regulatory hurdles and commitment. Regulatory challenge is a big issue in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Nangoti had to navigate a lengthy and complex process to obtain permits and licenses from the Nigerian government before the refinery could begin operations. Despite these hurdles, Dangote remains unwavering in the commitment to start up the refinery as soon as possible, with plans to refine crude by June of 2023, even though some analysts speculate it may take until 2024 or 2025 for full production. Once fully operational, the Dangote oil refinery will stand as the world's largest single train refinery in the world, with the capacity to process 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day. This monumental achievement is expected to save Nigerian billions of dollars in foreign exchange and create thousands of jobs, cementing its status as a symbol of hope, 
progress and transformation for the continent. And of course, Lagos will continue to take center stage as the fastest growing city in Africa. The impact and future. What's truly remarkable is the impact this project is said to have. It's more than just a refinery, it's a wellspring of opportunities. The Dangote oil refinery is poised to create thousands of indirect jobs and over 135,000 permanent jobs for Nigerians, thereby breathing life into Lagos metro and surrounding communities. Dangote oil refinery symbolizes progress and unity, showcasing Africa's potential for achieving great feats. The project is expected to enhance intra-African trade and cooperation, further strengthening the continent's bond. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have enjoyed this documentary and I will see you in the next one.